Guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make more sales for your Amazon store or Amazon FBA without actually marketing on Amazon. This is gonna be super cool, guys. So if you're struggling to make sales or just wanna make more sales on Amazon, I'm gonna show you how to use Google and how to grow your sales on Amazon. So guys, let's dive in. So first things first, guys, is Google, right? Super, super, super powerful. It is basically a search engine using keywords, right? So it's not like Facebook or Twitter or anything like that because people are actually using Google to find products. Now, I'm gonna show, share with you some really super cool things here and things that you need to really bear in mind because the thing when you're using Google and Amazon is, Amazon does not allow Google to add tracking code to your Amazon FBA store. So you've gotta think outside the box a little bit here. You've gotta get a little bit clever with your conversions, right? And how you measure conversions. So first thing first, now I'm gonna pretend I sell um, dog leads, okay? I have an Amazon store. I mean, I don't really have an Amazon store that sells dog leads, but in this example, I am a uh, product owner that sells dog leads on Amazon. So my customer here, will be going to Google and they will be typing in something like dog leads or even better, a commercial intent keyword like best dog leads, okay? So you want to have something like best dog leads. I'm probably gonna get a picture of a dog now just crawling across the screen. <laughs> so did somebody, goes to Google, they're looking for dog leads, they type into Google dog leads. Now, you have to understand, and it's really, really important, that you have to understand why does that customer want a dog lead? Yes, of course, to walk their dog, but maybe they're looking for something like a more comfortable one or a shorter lead or a longer lead, right? So if you can understand why that customer wants that product, you can then put that into your ad and you can make that customer feel like they are understood. So your ad will stand out from everybody else because you are putting key messaging and key pain points in your ad. Now, this is where you gotta get clever because Amazon does not allow you to, com to, to track conversions using Google. Now, what you're gonna be doing with your ad on Google is then you are going to send that traffic, that people that click on your ad, you're going to send them to your Amazon FBA store or Amazon store, okay? Now, this is where you need to get clever. So on your Amazon store, you will have a list of products. In this example, dog leads. You want to be using no more than two, just two keywords inside your Google ads campaign. And this is why, okay? Big mistake people make when they're trying to use Google to sell more Amazon products is they just will just put in a list and list and list of keywords. But because Amazon doesn't allow you to track or allow you to put Google code or tracking code on your Amazon store, you cannot um, track which keywords made those sales. So by using only two maximum, two maximum keywords in your campaign, you can attribute any of those one or two keywords to your sales. So you're not guessing as much. So imagine if you have two keywords and you have 15 keywords, right? And you log into your Amazon store and you've got a load of sales. You don't know which of those keywords generated those sales. But by only having two keywords, you can make a much safer assumption as to which keyword which keyword that sale came from. So now what you can do is you can put your Google Ads budget into those keywords and you can then scale it to get more products and more products sold on your Amazon FBA store. So hopefully this is making sense, right guys? So Google is powerful and if you work it with your Amazon store, you can combine the two and you can grow your sales on Amazon rather than using Amazon's own internal pay-per-click or their own internal advertising platform, it can get super, super expensive, right? And also in your Google ad, you can offer 
uh, images of your products. You can you can put ad lines in there. You can put what we call site links in there. So if you put ad site links in, you actually take up more real estate on Google. So your ad will stand out. Because remember, you're using keywords, right? People are using keywords on Google to find products, okay? And that's when you link the two, that Google plus Amazon means you can make more sales on your Amazon store by using Google ads. So hopefully that's made sense. And um, one more thing I just want to say about your keywords actually, top tip here is when you're adding keywords, driving traffic to your Amazon store, only ever use what we call exact match keywords. And the reason you want to use exact match because it, the level of intent on exact match keywords is much higher in terms of commercial intent. And what I mean by that is, and from the testing we've done, um, is by using exact match, you are able to get a higher conversion rate because the level of intent is much higher. So use exact match, no more than two keywords. Understand why your Amazon customer wants the product that you are offering. Convey that and make sure that's listed in the ad. And then you should be able to increase your Amazon sales. We have students inside of our Google coaching program that are running successful six and seven figure Amazon stores by using just Google, sending traffic to you from Google to the store and it works really well if you understand this. So guys, there's some free training going on right now. Click the link, go and watch the webinar, the training. And then if you'd like more information, yep, you can um, book a call with me directly. So hopefully you found this useful and I'll see you on the next video guys. Thank you.